Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Keyport is being brought to you by BCB Bayshore, your community bank. Thanks, Rich. After losing to Keyport in the state semifinals last season, Point Beach could not wait for this rematch. And after some adjustments in the second half, their offense was able to dominate on the ground. Point Beach taking on Keyport in this classic short conference matchup. First game for both teams this season. After a hard-fought first quarter, the Garnett goals would jump out to a 7-3 lead. Later in the second quarter, Sean Gold buries this 35-yard field goal to make it 10-3 Point Beach. Ensuing kickoff, Cameron Lightboard scoops up the squib kick and he's thinking six. Finally brought down and Keyboard takes over in good field position. And that would set up this. Steve Trigg finds Ryan Owens in the end zone to tie it up at 10 going into halftime. Opening drive of the second act for Beach. Luke Franham pitches it to the running back who's looking to pass. No, he keeps it, and the goals are on the move. Couple plays later, goal line. Chris Weber gets the ball and plows his way for six. Lil' Grass never hurt anyone. Goals lead 17-10 in the third. Next keyboard possession. It's Weber again, and he gets some on defense with this two-yard loss. With the third winding down, the Red Raiders need to get something going. And Cameron Lightboard once again makes a huge run to put his team in the red zone. Star of the fourth. Keyboard looking to punch it in from the five, but there's a fumble, and Point Beach recovers. Ah, so close. After that, Chris Weber hits the middle to get his teams back off the wall with this monster run. And when you need points, you have to call your boy who you can trust. Chris Weber with another one. He pretty much lives on the field. Goals go up 24 to 10 as they continue to chew up the clock with their run game. After a costly penalty, Keyport would once again return to the red zone, but Point Beach isn't having it. Ten plays ran in this series when finally Steve Trigg takes it in for the one-yard keep to make it 24-17 after the extra point. Red Raiders would go for the onside kick, but Beach recovers. Then a couple plays later, Sean Gold gets the ball and tears away for the end zone. The kicker, he makes it 31-17 with a minute remaining. It looks pretty much finished at this point. But don't tell that to Cameron Lightboard. He takes this one to the crib for 60 yards. Unfortunately, it was too late. That would do it, folks. 31-24 is your final. Point Beach starts the year off at 1-0. Great matchup. Look for the rematch. Afterwards, we caught up with the heroes and head coach John Wagner on what made the goals so unstoppable. We had a real tough defense. Our offensive line really stepped up and played really well. Our backs were running really hard. You know, Everyone just played well and played hard. Oh, Definitely our run game. Our line had a big game. A couple young kids stepped up. Basically just smacked them in the mouth all game. And it was Can't let up those... Uh, Past touchdowns and stuff, though, at the end, but overall we played pretty well. Got a little, some things to clean up. But. Basically, I told him we don't have a lot of adjustments to make except within our heads and within our hearts. We got to keep playing hard, battle through the cramps with the soft field today. Both teams were cramping up a bit. Battle through that, but get your head in the game. We can't be jumping off sides. You know, we run the ball t twice real well. And, and then we jump off sides or something, now, we, now we're throwing the ball. We don't want to make up yardage. We want to take what we get and stay with it. Point Beach will take on Bishop R next week. For Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Neri Rodriguez.